That's that. That's going to work a lot better. We just don't have enough mortar <laughs> to finish, and we only had the one bag of sand. Sunny Sunday, sunny the 19th of May, 8 o'clock, and then um, we're here. Now, this is our third lintel on this, we haven't filmed the other two, but um, done the top one first with, with the scaffold, that's gone now, and we came yesterday to the bathroom one. And we managed to do that with just two courses out. And you'll notice the tray, the vents are higher up because uh, we had to put the tray higher to get over that flash, flashing of the garage. So that was done slightly different. And um, this is on the same road as the previous videos, which were built out of dust and red mortar, weren't they? Yeah. You can basically pick the mortar out with your fingers. This stuff, I don't know if it's lime mortar with a lot of cement in it or just sand and cement, but that is rock hard. Absolutely solid. And um, we did the smaller window without propping it. It's just just hung in the air. Now this one, I think they've had these these flat bars put in pretty badly. The trays are intact, but they've slid these white these bars in and pointed up the cracks. Um, so that's coming out because it's rusting. These black bricks are coming out, and the customers asked us if they would put the soldiers in with the, the drip detail to match the, the other bungalows on the estate. Well, I say the others, that one's not been done. Uh, you can't see that one, but the last one we did. So um, we've got some spare bricks, we've got more coals. We picked up the tiles yesterday, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And then um, we've got a vent to go in here, so we've got a pipe to pipe that, a new cover to put on it, and then obviously take all these out, four courses, rebuild the cheeks up and get the soldiers in. So um, all the stuff was here already, so we've got a pretty good start. So I'm gonna get off this camera now and help Alex get this scaffold set up. This here had a vent on it and that was it. It was just straight into a hole, no pipe. So it's just venting into the cavity basically. Probably blowing fluff everywhere. So we brought a length of a uh, soil pipe to connect on there and Customs given us a new vent to put over the top. There's a close-up of yesterday's. So there's the end of the tray. There's the vents, four vents and the end one is just one bricking over the roof with the up stand on it. So that's bang on that. Looks nice, that doesn't it? Hey, so we're getting these ugly black ones out and we've got mold holes. That's a dusty one now. Show them a bit more colour. Mold holes. So we're going to do the soldiers in them. And then if you get us a tile out. This is uh, Swindles in, in McGull and we said have you got any rose tiles? He said no. Oh no. So we've just got a few uh, grey ones and a few, and they had eight, nine, eight or nine of these, wasn't it? Yeah. And the tile and the halves as well, which is even better. So we don't need as many. So they'll be getting cut down and put above the soldiers. The reason they're putting not is not really for the drip, is to course the brickwork back in because, as you can see, soldier brick don't work with 73 mil brick. So once that's in, the tile crease goes on top of that and it brings it back into bond. Uh, gauge. So <clears throat> there's a big gap under there. So we're going to start off with the saws all and see where it takes us. And we'll also be able to tidy this bond up a bit earlier. As you can see, it's, that's where the vent was. There's an actual half in the wall. You know that? 
I've knocked the half out, there's a half there. But um, yeah, because this is going to be a, a straight cheat now, ready for the soldiers to kick off. <coughs> but as you can see, the bond's all over anyway. <coughs> Not too bad here, but it still goes goes a bit. So yeah, let's get there. Let's check it's half eight first. Yeah, eight thirty-three. So we can start making a bit of a noise. So back to time lapse. So I'll uh, get some of these brick out. Well, that's how desperate Sunday mornings are on the radio. We're on six music. I can't say I'm that impressed, to be honest. There's just no adverts. There you go. There's this hard line bar, flat bar. And there's the black bricks, which have all... It's weird, it's not gone that way, it's gone that way. And I think we're going to stop there, get the soldiers in, and then I can put the tarkies over the top. Don't think I need to take four courses out. And this is solid. But we're going to prop it anyway because it is obviously it's twice the size of that gap. <clears throat> so Alex is just going to get the prop and the acro, the acro and the strong boy. Get one in here and then just carry on. Ugh. Yeah, you can see that. And then um, I get my coffee passed up so I get that drunk quick. Yeah, custom wants this repointing, but um. The mortar's that hard, it's, it's not worth it. And the bricks aren't pretty enough to repoint. It's better just leave it as it is, because it's not it's not catching the arm. Oh. <clears throat> Thank you very much. That's a collector's item now. Yeah. That's Nemesis Reborn. You have to uh, get a new coat when you go. Mm. If we ever go. It's not if it's when you've got to. Mind you, I walked 4.4 miles at Peter gave me a walking stick, so I'm up for walking again now. I don't know about Alton Towers, but... What I think we should do, if we, if we do decide, see how much this is for like, some of the fast passes of the main ride, like, like even just like for Nemesis, because when me and Neil went, we, we um, obviously we, went, we left it too late, but we just bought a fast pass for 13 to make sure we went on it. Yeah. I wouldn't buy a fast pass for 13, I'd rather not go on it. <laughs> 13 is not worth buying a fast pass for. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Yeah, but she'd never ridden it before. Yeah. Thank you. I know, I was trying to get Theo to go on there, right, to, to get to Walton Towers. And now, yeah, yeah, and now, you know you queue up for, you know you queue up for Nemesis now? Yeah. And you go up the path, up to where the first drop is, mm. where you don't come back down again there now, you carry on going, you go right round the top of the ride, right round the, where it turns round at the top, and then come into it from there. Right. You don't queue up through the ride anymore, you queue up round it. Right. So you walk like three times further now, it's like Galactica. You go for a hike before you get to the ride. So that's going to be hard work. Anyway, in other news, back to the bit where we're earning the money to go to places like that. <coughs> oh yeah, we're trying to get um, Attractions Magazine, we're trying to get us an invite for the Hyperia opening, but they're having none of it. They'll only invite us to Lego. So, um, and even then, we didn't get invited to the last Lego, did we? There you go, prop in. Oh yeah, don't forget your uh, your insulation up the cavity to stop all the fluff dropping out. I can't remember did a job which didn't have that stuff in it. <clears throat> and even if there's not insulation, put, put some in. in anyway. Yeah. Because if they get it done in the future, your back of the lens will sorted. Yeah. Because yeah. if ever, it, like as as Alex just said, then if ever it gets done in the future and they blow it in, it won't go it won't go behind the lintel under that cavity tray. So you, you're covered. And you're also making a bit of a warm spot over the doors and the windows. 
every little helps. Right, back to time lapse, should I get the rest of this out? What are we on now? What time? The hole's halfway out. Five past nine. Not bad. Right, catch you in a bit. I had to stop for this. There's a, a, a bit of mucking cavity. Hmm. Nice. And that's on top of all the gobble that's in the uh, in the tray. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. Always, always a bit of timber. Usually a bird's nest in there. Hmm. The four by one. What am I even filming? Sorry about that. A bit of 4 has just come out. And then this thing. Iceberg. Look at that. Humongous. out the cavity that this bag Can you tell him about the um hold on? Right. Everyone's heard of icebergs. And if you watch the telly you see you've heard of fatbergs. Where all the wipes get stuck in this in the sewers and all the fat gets stuck to it and you end up with a big lump of fluff in the sewers that block the sewers. Well we've got a Cavity bone motorberg. There you go. I need two hands for this. Time. Nice cavity tray shape. Right, right the bricks. There you go. Let's get some insulation in this cavity. It's behind you somewhere. Oh. <laughs> we'll have a lunch here. It's a big cavity, that. That's the age of it. It's an empty cavity now, I know you took that bloody crap out. Oh yeah, this is off as well. It's loose, it's ready to come down. Just need to get one more brick out so we can get the tray attached further up. And, uh, let's get it out quick because the bruise is right. Film it, film it for a minute. Okay.
out for dinner, out for break time. So there's our internal tin lintel, standard issue, always in great condition. Completely dry, never had a bit of water on it, always been protected by the tray anyway. Um, got a bit of fettling to do here because this tray comes too close up with this tray, so we've got an upstand here. And then we'll have to tuck it in underneath our vent that we're putting in. As you can see, that's uh, never had a pipe on it. So we'll be slotting the pipe over that and building that in. And the first job after break is um, clean all this out, hoover it all out, get the uh, lintel in, insulation cut behind it, and then get the tray set up. We'll probably just nail the tray to the top of this. I'm not much else we can do, we can't, certainly can't go above it because where they've gone over the top they've like put a header and then a stretcher, header stretcher but brick on edge to get the bomb back with the block work which is a bit weird they didn't have fancy Milwaukee battery saws back then, you could just rip it out and cut anything so there's the, uh, the plate that's gone, that's gone down our scrap pile now I'm going to get me a cup of coffee, see you in a bit uh, this part's going to take my glamorous assistant Yeah, let's get this thing sorted first. We not, we've never done this before, so we're going to get this done first. So basically, this slots onto the vent, as you can see, it fits nice and snug. And the other thing you want to do is make sure the pipe's running down, which it is. The reason for that is, in case any water gets in, it won't run into the house. Now, if Alex holds this, the, um, sorry, just say, the vents sit snug inside it, so basically we just need the pipe cut in flush with the brickwork, maybe about 5 mil back. So you just you just plumb the brickwork and mark it? Yeah. So what I'm going to do, you can see it all, all that mess in there, so I'm going to put a silicon bead around that if I can get this, the gun in. And then I'm going to throw a load of mortar around it as well just to seal it, because that, that I can actually see the back of the tile there, so it's very fragile. So yeah, um, we'll now mark it. Nice. So if we cut five mil back off that line, well I'll do it because I've got the grinder up here, haven't I? You've got the multi-tool. Grind's better. Is the grinder been took down? Yes. Oh. I've got that saw, right? No, I used the, the, the grind. So there's our line. So we're going to cut it five mil shorter than that, just to make sure we're not pushing that cover out, because it, it'll be built in by then. So Alex is going to cut me the 170 mil strips of insulation to go behind the lintel, <coughs> behind there, and then we'll get the lintel in and start settling the tray. Well, that doesn't seal it, I don't know what will. <laughs> Once it's in there, that's not, that's not coming unsealed. It should work more efficiently, the fan as well. Next is get the tray and the insulation in, and then try and get our tray on top of here. We'll have to see. Bit of a mishmash.
That was a battle, but it's in. Tray's in. That was hard. As easy as the last one was, that was twice as hard, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Sorry. And then um, we've done a hand mix. Well, Alex has done a hand mix. How do you find hand mixing? I've, I've done it a few times before, and I always. You, you like how um, a woman forget how awful giving birth is, and they have another one. That's me with hand mixes. We should have just brought the mixer, shouldn't we? We should have just made, we stripped the van out and brought the mixer. Because it's, it's a big hole, this. But anyway, um, you, you live. At, you, I was going to say you live and learn, but we don't. Pass that back to me. Um, it's still never as easy as I remember. And out that power talk about uh, pregnant women, because I will get absolutely bashed, <laughs> especially by my by every woman who watches and by my sister. <laughs> yeah, poor Sarah is in hospital at the moment with Rosie, the little one. She's got, she's got an infection. She's been kept in for t nearly two days. Yeah. But she's on the mend, which is good. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get these cheeks built up and get this vent sorted out. And then, once the cheeks are done, we've just got the soldiers to run in then. I think you might as well do the cuts now with them later when, you, when you're waiting for me. Mm -hmm. You might as well cut the tiles down for me when you... How when is you're it you're um, doing it? Are you cutting it that way? We'll ask him if he wants the that edge or a straight edge on it. But either way, is it just being cut? Yeah, just down to one ways. Down to 130 mil. Which, whichever way we have it? Yeah. Yeah. So we're not messing around doing brick sized ones? No, not a chance. Got it goes in where how it goes in. Look, the last one's running in pieces. Yeah. Which, and they look smart. And they're getting taken out probably. Yeah. They asked if they chop them off. I think we mentioned that yesterday. No, we didn't. Because we didn't, we didn't <laughs> film yesterday. No. Okay, let's crack on. Yeah, we're back. So we've got the cheeks to do, got the vent to do, got the prop to put under, got, got the... We should, shouldn't need to prop it off the frame if we're putting prop, prop, prop timber under it. Um, and just get on with it. Oh yeah, and the tiles need cutting down too. But Alex can be getting on with that in a bit. Don't forget there's a pipe in there. Yeah, on top of this. Do the rest of the um, vents, please. Your tablets. Not all of them have left the others at home. No. I don't want to 
get grilled all the way to Manchester. <laughs> She's going to start um, studying these programs for this interview with EA. Right. Where well, she has to put on this like social face as she hates it. Yeah. Uh, same as the, um, just as wet as you can get it. Right, that's a right little patchwork quilt, isn't it? So it's the bent in nice and tidy. I put sand and cement in, so when I push that in, the sand and cement will hold it in. Plus, I'll put some silicon on that onto the. I put four blobs on that. Yeah, I know you're supposed to screw it, but screwing those little tiny holes so close to that hole is very difficult. Um, and plus, obviously, the bricks are wet, and we're done today. Don't get better sealed than that. There you go. That's going to work so much better now. So I'm just going to sit, stick this on, and it's a, one of the louver vents. I'm going to get it in place. You need to be replenish that pocket um, soon. And that silicon. Yeah. There's two tubes. There's two tubes of silicon and two tubes of uh, no nails in there in the garage or the house somewhere. I bought them at on bargains the other day. Yeah. Because you've got this grey and then it's all just cork then. Yeah. Pull that, please. Is there no clear left? Couldn't see any now. Right. There you go. Plenty on the perimeter and plenty on the edges. I've got my 
nice straight pencil line to work off. See how long we can record for, because the sun's here and the camera's gone over here. Otherwise, so just got the last tile in. Just got a point above them and tidy up. I'm guessing it's about half five now.
There we go. Let's get this open as you can see. One beautifully finished vent and it's level because I leveled it. That's that. That's going to work a lot better. There's the tray from the other side, it comes over, two courses above this tray, laps over the top. There's our tile creasing, detail, whatever you call it. And yeah, ready for the timber to come out tomorrow. So we'll just have to nip back tomorrow to drop that. But as, as far as today's concerned, we're done. So um, I'll hand you over to Alex tomorrow to do an outro. So see you in a flash. Either we've lost the footage or we forgot to do it. Either way, you're getting one now. I think bloody three months later. 19th May this. So three and a bit months. Three and a bit months. Thank you very much for watching. That was probably one of our best set of lintel jobs we've ever done. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can tell you now, three and a half months later, they've never been the same as that. So... We sure enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you always know when we upload. It's a massive help and we appreciate the support. This has been Brick Claim and Steve and Alex from our home. And we will see you in the next one.